Hello, this is Short Me Tina once again from shortmetina.com doing a really quick video recap for ticker HMNY right now. What you're looking at is a daily chart dating back to around um, late April of 2018. So full disclosure before I get underway, I am long ticker HMNY. I actually got in, um, well, that's neither here nor there. So let's just focus in right now on... Uh, the time frame, let's say, starting in early May. So I'm going to focus on that because that, in my opinion, is when the major break occurred, right? And you can kind of see it here by these long red candles, right? Like wide range, tons of selling, continuously for, for three days on above average volume. Why did that occur? Well, it occurred because um, HMNY, the ticker, the stock, actually broke resistance that was held in place for about 10 to 18 years, like a long time, which was around $2. So $2 acted as support, meaning when the stock dipped or got close to $2, folks would come in and buy it up, right? So it stayed above that $2 level for a very long time, years. And then finally, or in early May, it actually broke $2 and then a ton of selling ensued, right? Um, we traded sideways for a bit, we broke through that channel, traded sideways for a bit, broke through that support. So for HMNY, like I told folks at this point, right, we're not looking for like that 100 or 200 or 300% pop. We're not looking to get back up here to $2. We're not looking to achieve the highs we achieved in late November. I believe that it was around um, $45, somewhere around there. What we want right now for ticker HMNY, briefly speaking, is for the stock to stabilize. What does stabilization look like? Well, it looks like a lot of things, but for the point of this video, right, and I'll do subsequent videos uh, at some point in the future, at point different points in the future, uh, but what we're looking for right now is for the stock to stop. We don't want the stock to put in um, lower lows, right? We want there to be a base. We want there to be like a definitive point of support. And we have not achieved that yet, right? So after the three days of selling, um, you know, I'm pretty sure folks perhaps stopped with this a little purple fuchsia line, which is around, uh, let's say, 60 to 65 cents with support. Clearly, that's not support because the stock broke. And not only did it break, it broke on above average volume and there was consistent selling for like five days. That means people are liquidating, people are getting out of the stock, right? Um, then we range bound for a little bit. Uh, and then most recently, we broke again yesterday, and we broke on above average volume. The all, so th there's a couple of things that can be considered silver lining. Well, one is the stock is sitting uh, at around 37 cents. So there isn't much downside, right? At $45, there's a lot of downside. At 37 cents, you know, granted the stock can go to zero, but I mean, there isn't... Uh, you know, relatively speaking, much downside. So that's one positive if you're looking for a positive. Two, the range is getting a bit more tighter. And I've realized, and if you go to shortmetina.com and you sign up, uh, when you log in as a free member, I wrote a blog just basically entitled how to tell when, you know, uh, the short sellers are leaving or how to tell when your stock is about to stabilize or the selling stops. And what I've noticed is when stocks tend to trade in like a tight range, uh, and a tight range, for example, would be 30 to 35 cents, right? Versus if you look back here, the range is you know, a dollar and forty three cents to about two dollars. That's a fifty cents spread. That's a relatively wide range considering, you know, the stock is trading within a dollar or two, right? But if you look here, what's the range? The range is the high was thirty seven cents, the low was thirty three cents. So that's a four cents difference. That's a very tight range. So when the range starts to become tighter with these candles, for me that typically I want to say it signals a reversal right away, but it just tells you that, you know, that major selling again that you saw back here is subsiding. It doesn't mean that we're not going to, it doesn't mean that we're, we won't put in another low, right? It doesn't mean that for now, you know, 33 cents is the low, but the fact that the range is getting tighter, that says that most folks that want to get out have gotten out and any subsequent selling, you know, might just be sort of like, uh, probably, you know, 
random folks or day traders x y and z just jumping in and out of the stock um so i'm rambling a little bit so let me like bring it home so for ticker hmny um we're not out the woods out the woods would be uh us actually you know holding any level of support hopefully at this point is 33 cents but considering within the past month we keep putting in lower lows right i i can't with any certainty call 33 cents as the low so again not to sound repetitive going forward you want the stock to have you know we want it to hold support we want it to stop putting in new lows once that happens then we can think of like the next level so first hurdle obviously would be to get above that for i don't even say 40 cents line that's that shouldn't be a major hurdle first hurdle would be to get above the most um recent break not counting this one which would be about 60 cents if we can get there even we test it if we can retest there even get above there and close then that's good that means that you know buyers are stepping in we are you know surpassing various levels and again that bodes well so i'm going to stop the video here it's getting a little lengthy just wanted to give a little update in hm and why again and like i said in the video that i did a couple of days ago despite, despite the fact <clears throat> pardon despite the fact the citadel uh took about a five percent stake in the company we were not out the woods right people people probably thought well okay great it's time to jump in it's time to buy no definitely pay attention to the news but you know in my opinion right because i like charts in my opinion your charts should guide you and for me although citadel took a uh percentage in the stock it did not make me say it was time for me to personally jump in or or add to my position rather um again i was just continuously like i always do focus on the charts all right rambling here short Matina from shortmatina.com if you have any questions regarding this um video definitely go to shortmatina.com sign up send me an email tell me that you're a new member send me an email with your question and i am typically responsive i try to get back to folks um within the hour or at least within 24 hours also, I want you to go to my YouTube channel, uh, Short Me Tina, and definitely subscribe. That way, every time I upload a video, and I usually do videos every single day with the exception of the weekends, um, but I do videos every single day, sometimes up to five videos, um, so you definitely don't want to miss that. That's why it's super important to uh, subscribe to both my YouTube channel and uh, my newsletter. So that's it. I'm going to cut it off here. As I keep saying, I'm going to cut it off. I'm really going to cut it off. Uh, so Short Me Tina, head, over, head on over to shortmetina.com. Sign up. Thank you for listening, and as always, thank you for the support.